So we are but. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. I'm Vanessa and this is Nessa CX Beauty. Today's video is going to be on the brand new Fenty Vivid Eyeliner Trios. I got the one in Bay K and if you are looking for a review with all three sets of these eyeliners, I will card London's video up here because I know she got all of them because she is a Fenty queen. But I got this one mainly because of the white eyeliner. I've been searching for a white eyeliner for a while. So I'm hoping this one doesn't disappoint today. But I'm also super, super, super excited to try out the yellow one. Because that neon yellow is calling my name. So without further ado, I'm going to just get right into it. So the trios do retail for around $35. Which averages about like $12 per eyeliner which is basically drugstore price so I think that's a good thing because one of these would cost 12 and a Maybelline eyeliner costs around $12 as well so nice price point but the only thing I will complain about in terms of the trios is that they should have had a single option like if there was a single option to just buy the one shade you want if you are interested in just one shade they should have given you that option but no all of the eyeliners that are coming out in the Fenty line today come in trios I'm gonna start off with the shade white t-shirt and that's the white from the Bay K trio and we're just gonna go right in. <laughs> so I think that that was pretty simple to work with and build up. So I'm just gonna recreate it on this eye so we can see the finished look and see how it dries and then we can move on to the next shade. We are back with both wings done and y'all I think I really like this one. I am happy about how it applied and dried. It looks pretty good. It was easy to work with. It was easy to build up. Woo! Other white eyeliners that I have tried are ColourPop Graceland. That's Graceland. And then I also have the NYX Gel White Eyeliner. And then now the Fenty one. And if y'all are interested in seeing a battle of the white eyeliners, please let me know. Again, this is Graceland from ColourPop. This is the NYX white gel liner and this is the Fenty white t-shirt. But if y'all want to see them head to head, let me know. Because I love white eyeliner. And I'm looking for the most amazing white eyeliner in the universe. If you have suggestions, let, let me know down below too. <laughs> so now I'm gonna take this all off and we're gonna go into the next shade so next up I'm using banana blaze and trying to do that same wing type of situation seeing if the formula is consistent through the different colors So I changed up the lip color to more match the eyeliner and this shade looks super nice in contrast to the tanness of my skin and I think I'm in love with this. Like this is definitely not an everyday wing but I think it looks so beautiful. I'm gonna do the other eye off of camera and we'll just see how it all looks put together. This is Banana Blaze on both of my eyes and y'all. I think I fell in love with yellow eyeliner. I feel like it looks so complimentary to my skin tone and neon yellow is definitely something that I will be experimenting with more after seeing how good it looks in contrast to my face. <laughs> uh, let me know your opinions down below on this shade because I think this might be my favorite out of the two thus far, even though I did have to build it up a little bit more than I had to the white, the end result is still beautiful. On to the last one. We interrupt this program to let y'all know that I will never 
be wearing mascara for an eyeliner review video ever again because everything is attaching itself to my mascara and I'm struggling <laughs> but I'll be back to try out the pink <laughs> last up is hottie alert and this is the pink usually pink eyeliners don't look good on me so fingers crossed that this one does All right, y'all, so this is how Hottie Alert looks on my eye. And it doesn't pop out in the same way that the banana one does or the white one does, but it does look nice. I just don't see myself using this much just for the sheer fact that it doesn't look like much. Like, if you're looking at me straight on right now, you can barely see that I have pink eyeliner on. I wish that one of the darker or vibrant ones from the other sets would have came in this one because I feel like that would have popped out on my skin more. So just be aware of that if you're thinking of purchasing this trio. Now I'm gonna just do the other eye with this pink eyeliner. So we are back with Hottie Alert on both eyes. And it doesn't look horrible, y'all. I'm not saying it looks horrible. I'm just saying it's not my favorite. But it doesn't look bad. I just wish it was a little bit more poppy poppy, you know? But overall, I think that this trio was definitely worth it. A uh, tip for y'all is that when you're building this up, make sure to let it dry a little bit before you start depositing more color or it will you know swipe some off but once it dries it's there a tip for me <laughs> don't wear mascara for eyeliner review videos but that is all i have for y'all today i hope y'all enjoyed today's video as much as i like creating it i definitely found a favorite also just let me know if y'all want to see the white eyeliner face off because that's something I'm interested in. I don't know if y'all are interested in that. So the only way I can find out is through a comment. So have a great day or night wherever you are in the world. And I hope to see y'all soon. Bye-bye.